So I'm going to start recording, right? Okay. Okay, okay you're both about the same height, so this is easy. Yeah, all right. Hey guys, Dan Wolfman here, thecombatsystem.com. I want to talk to you about growing MMA in Malaysia. How have you been involved with MMA and the business side of things? How have you been growing things from Lima to getting 1FC to come here to everything else? Well, first we started out by sponsoring fighters, and then we sponsored, uh, you know, uh, AT Pyro. It opened us up to what 1FC was doing, the good work that Victor Kui and his team were up to. Um, and from there on, we just we, did, we went up and we decided look, that we needed a, a vertical to, to feed uh, all the talent that was out there properly, and also set the stage for what was the difference between amateur and, and, and you know, I guess amateur kind of uh, professional thing. Yeah. So we, we, we built that from the ground up, and, um, and now we're seeing the, kind of the fruit um, of what people, the standard is going up overall. So Toon Talk started, you started Nima, correct? That's right. Myself, Malaysian Invasion. Malaysian Invasion, myself, and uh, that's right, these guys are uh, champion, and of course. This is my friend Darren Lowe back here, heavyweight champ. Lost a lot of weight, Darren. Uh, that's that's like, partially due to me. I helped coach him over at AKA Thailand. That's, that's how fantastic. I came to Malaysia, He's so they recruited me. He's totally like ripped now. And of course, Amulet, I'm going to thank tonight. His first fight professionally, and he's won his first first fight. Um, he's, he's, he's no longer defending his belt from even three. He's got his belt, he can keep it. So it's fantastic to see no, that. Yeah. Winning in 1FC. He's, he's, the first, he's the first fighter with the amateur to pro. So he won tonight. So the rest of the guys, we're going to see how well, they do. I hope I help bring Darren into 1FC yeah, eventually. Let nice him defend his belt a few yeah. times this year, maybe? Hopefully. I think, I think, I think that's, uh, that's going to be tough to, to fight. You know, you know, as far as head concussions are involved. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Yeah. And everyone's going really to always worry about that. So um, it was easy for us to go to the sport, which is set up in, in, you know, in, in a show like manner. With, uh, because of one of the and um, and compared to that, so it was never it never was really underground for us. We never went into the kind of underground uh, uh, phase. We tried to make it as legit as possible. And Mima season three is coming up. I got a couple fighters are going to try out. I think next month to try. And yeah, actually, work next, their way in. next week we're down in Johor. So Mima three starts the ball rolling. We're going to go out of the country. And Mima three is all about electricity. It's all about the, the, the electric pace at which MMA is going. I mean, and it's something to see from Mima four, which I which I'm going to coin the baptism of fire. Because really, we've had a honeymoon period right now, and this is where we, we get real. We start to see you know, whether or not we're going to get a chance to fight against the Brandon Veras and the, you know, the big boys. Well, can we? you know, I would be willing to do that. Brandon's a friend of mine, but I'd be willing to do it if need be. But you know, if you need a coach, if you need a host, if you need a commentator, I'm the English guy for you. Awesome, man. Brilliant. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Will. Bye, guys. All right.